Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some text that reflects. So you're going to use the text tool here, the type tool. Um, you can go with any font, the one with Onyx. Um, go with the large size. I see I have 72 up here. Um, I mean, you can do it with any size, but it's more profound if you have a larger size text. So I'm just writing my text in here. Write whatever you like. And then I'm going to go to the Move tool and kind of position it. Actually, I want it to be center. If I want something to be centered perfectly, I select uh, both of my layers here, and I can um, go up here to our uh, alignment tools. And so that's now centered perfectly um, across the horizontal plane. And now I'm going to actually go down here, and I'm going to duplicate this layer by right-click, duplicate layer. And we'll go with that for now. So one says copy. And it actually did create the layer, but it's right underneath it. So you can't really tell. But we're going to do Command T or Control T if you're on a Windows. And I'm actually just going to drag this down like that. And I'm going to bring it up and just about touch right there like that. Press Enter. And so we already have some semi-reflecting text going on here. It looks pretty cool, right? I'm going to make this uh, layer down below just so I know. This is my top layer and this is my bottom layer. And with that layer selected, I'm going to um, use the filter for blur and go with a Gaussian blur. It needs to rasterize the type, that's fine, hit OK. And just have it at a low level like that, 0.6 is probably good. You can kind of see what that did. It gave it a little blur there. Okay. Um, then I'm also going to come over here and lower the opacity a bit. And even lower the fill just a little bit. Uh, we'll do a couple little things just to make it, you know, give it a, a better effect here. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to kind of put this in between the layers. And we're going to go use our gradient tool under here. And you know what? I'm going to select, though, a foreground that's not as dark as that. We'll go a little lighter, maybe something like that, and see what happens when we use this. So you can kind of play around with this and see if you can get an, an effect that works for you. All right, another thing you could do to even add another element to this is to get your bottom layer and let's add a mask by clicking on this little icon down here at the bottom and click on that mask make sure you have it clicked and make sure your foreground is now black and go up to and select your gradient tool which might be under your paint bucket and we're going to do um, foreground to transparent and if you kind of just come down here and drag that up you can kind of see how now it'll fade out the text which might even um, be more appropriate for reflecting text. That looks pretty cool. Uh, that's just an, another element that you can add to this. Um, let's see what that looks like without the background. Yeah, so you can do that with or without the. Actually, I think that looks pretty cool without the the uh, the gradient color there. So that's up to you. A couple little different things you can do to make this look pretty cool. Enjoy.